Adventures in Pixie Land presents your daily energy reading. Your daily astrology reading for September 11th, 2024 is the first quarter moony moon in passionate Sagittarius until it trots its way into Taskmaster Capricorn. Messenger Mercury and Practical Virgo, Sextile Action Taker Mars, and Emotional Cancer. New changes implemented now to your long-term plans means something might be about to take off. Your Elder Futhark Daily Rune for September 11th, 2024 is Laguz. Laguz, the letter L, the meaning water, associations, flow, emotions, water, renewal, life, energy. Today, your focus is on your emotions and honoring how those feelings affect the flow of energy into your life. Your daily romance angel oracle card for September 11th, 2024 is finances and career. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Money and love have historically been linked and this card points to this correlation. The romance angels want to distangle you from financial and career pressures so that you may enjoy every aspect of your life, including romance. While work can be a source of heart-opening satisfaction, it must be balanced with other facets of love, such as playfulness and laughter. You received this card because you'd benefit from an infusion of such lightheartedness. Call upon the angels to elevate your mood, energy levels, finance, career, and anything else that will bring you peace. Your daily fairy wisdom oracle card for September 11th, 2024 is wishing you health. Card 61, wishing you health, wholeness. Call a friend today. This is a health card. If you find yourself wishing for your wholeness, then it is time for you to do whatever it takes to break the spell of disease, whether it be physical, mental, or spiritual level. All these levels must work together in order for you to be the best that you can be. There must also be acknowledgement that lack of fullness or the feeling that something is missing, is all just an illusion. First, understand your divine perfection, that you are now and always have been whole. Bring that wholeness down and merge it into your body. Treat your body well with a good diet, exercise, and loving thoughts. If it's time for a checkup, then go get one. There is always something you can do to honor your body and make it a happier place to reside. Sometimes you have to place yourself above others in order to get proper rest and to ease out the tension in your life. This is not a selfish act, as you must be in tip-top condition in order to give your best to yourself and others. Forgive yourself and others for any past deeds, as holding on to these regrets takes a lot of energy that could be used elsewhere. Move forward. Love yourself. Know that you are worthy of good health and happiness. Your chant, I am worthy of good rest. I am worthy of good food. I am worthy of good health. I am worthy of the good life. So be it. Your daily starseed oracle card for September 11th, 2024 is star bathing. Star bathing, light body, crystal grid, transmission, activation. The stars are constantly showering emanations onto the crystalline grid of the earth. When things are in balance, the planet also sends information back to the stars. Many star seeds have come to the Earth at this time to help shift the planet vibrationally. 
to activate the ancient codes of wisdom that humanity has forgotten. And all of that information is stored in the crystalline grid. If you pulled this card, you may be being called to begin working with the stars and the crystalline grid of the earth. Some people believe that the crystalline grid of the earth anchors divine frequencies into the planet. You may be guided to journey to particular places on the earth to unlock these cosmic codes with your presence. You may also be interested in the practice called star bathing. This card commonly arises because you're here to connect with the crystalline grid of the earth, either in your hometown or by traveling to other places without quite knowing why. It can also mean that your light body, the energy body in its highest form, is being activated. If this resonates, take things extra slow in order to integrate these, this change in vibration. Your star seed activation, place your hand on your heart portal and whisper the following. I open myself to receiving the wisdom of the crystalline grid beneath me. May the stars and the earth inform and heal me. And as they do, may it heal the earth too. Your daily Priestess of Light Oracle card for September 11th, 2024 is River of Blessings. River of Blessings, releasing constraints. The Priestess of Purification holds out a bowl of blessed water, overflowing in your direction. The all-seeing Jaguar brings his power of creation into your life, heralding a significant positive change in your circumstances. You may have been experiencing a time of challenges, such as financial constraints, living paycheck to paycheck, or going deep into debt. Your restrictions, however, may have been a more emotional nature. Perhaps you've been lonely, missing a romantic, familial, or friendly love, or even a lack of joy from the ongoing tediousness of life could be a great limitation for you. But whether these restrictions have been long-lasting or recent, this card reveals new powerful forces flowing into your life, breaking through even severe limitations of the past. Your difficulties may have been very hard to bear, but this has been a time of profound purification for you. The priestess is blessing your rebirth after suffering giving you the Jaguar's ability to view your experience with sharp-eyed clarity, a release of attachment that brings the promise of achievement. Whatever limitations you have endured, a beneficial solution is coming your way. So rest assured, the old issues will be resolved. As you go through your day, Bless yourself with clear intention. See any restrictions as merely a part of your passage from purification to personal progress. Just as the Jaguar has a unique visual acuity, your own inner visions are coming into sharp focus. Be ready to become an even greater reality. In fact, this river of blessings will carry you far beyond anything that you have imagined. Your affirmation? I release attachment and restriction. I am blessed and purified, ready to receive ever the ever expanding flow of value in my life. Your daily energy reading for September 11th, 2024 is the astrology is telling you, you need to change up your plans to make something work out. Lagu says, honor your emotions today. The romance oracle says money is a factor today in decision making. The fairies remind you that toxic overdue is a choice we make. Leave time 
for your body to unwind. The Starseed Oracle reminds you that if you slow down your breathing and hold still, you will feel the life in everything around you. The Priestess of Light Oracle reminds you that focusing on positivity is what changes the energy in the room. If you, you know, if you focus on negativity, then you're going to see everything from a negative lens. You're not going to be capable of seeing anything anybody's doing through a positive lens because um, all you're going to be do is be suspicious. It's okay. Well, if you run around being suspicious all the time of the whole world, you're, you're not going to be staying in the love vibration. Now, this is in the Proverbs about not being a mocker. Usually when we think of mockers, we're thinking of other people. But are we? Are we? How many times in your mind are you quietly scoffing about what somebody or somebody around you says something? And you maybe don't want to say it out loud. Maybe it's a person who says the same thing over and over again and they never actually do anything. Maybe it's any of those things. Well, aren't you just a Debbie Downer? Uh, sorry out there for all the Debbies. I know, I've known several, several Debbies and they're perfectly delightful people. And I wouldn't describe them as downers. So aren't you just like the wet blanket on that person's screen then? Even if it's only mentally, it doesn't matter. It sees all your thoughts, feels all your feelings. So come on now, right? Let's get it together. That counts. You are the leader. You set the tone in the room. You change the energy in the room by the energy you put out. If you want a room full of laughter and giggles and fun, then you got to bring the fun. You got to bring the laughter. You got to bring the ease. Be the example. And then watch what other people do. Your body needs time to unwind. It does. Yes, you might need to get that hustle on. But how long are you going to be able to keep that hustle going when your body starts to fall apart because you didn't give it the time to rest? It's a choice that we make with machines. We choose to power them down at night. We know they run slower if they don't get a chance to power down. We can understand the science behind it. Your brain... Your brain needs the same thing. Your body needs the same thing. Everything that we have around us, we have based off of something we observe in nature. The computer and your brain. <laughs> okay? They're, they run the same. Just as you would power it down or you would expect it to eventually die off and die off faster than things that you don't power down, so true is true of your body. Whatever it is you think you need to do, it's not worth it. Take a nap. Get some sleep. Allow your emotions to tell you that it's okay. It's okay to just feel connected to everything around you and just vibe. 